this balance between free speech and yeah. moderation is something you know, we grapple with as politicians. Sure. You were grappling with your own version of that, and, and you, you moved away from a kind of manual human yeah. uh, way of doing it, the moderation to the, the community notes. And, yeah. and I think that's, you know, it was an interesting change, right? It's not what everyone yeah. else has done. It would be good, you know, what's, what was the reasoning behind that, and why do you think that is a better way to do that? Um, yeah, part of the problem is if, if, you, if you empower people as censors, then well, how, th there's going to be some amount of bias uh, they have, um, and then whoever appoints the censors is effectively in control of information. So then the, the idea behind community notes is, well, how do we have a consensus-driven, uh, I mean, so it's not really censoring it, but consensus-driven approach to truth. Uh, how, do we, or how, do we, how do we make things um, the least amount untrue, like you can say, like, what, one can't pass, perhaps get to pure truth, but you can aspire to be more truthful. Um, so the, the, the thing about community notes is it doesn't actually delete anything. It simply adds context. Now, that context could be this thing is untrue for the following reasons. Um, <laughs> um, and, but, it, but importantly, with community notes, um, everything is open source, actually. So you, you can see the software, um, every line of the software, you can see all of the data that went into a community note, and you, and you can independently create that community note. So if you've got, if, if you see manipulation of the data, you can actually highlight that and say, well, this, 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 there appears to be some gaming of the system, um, and you can suggest improvements. Um, so it's, it's, it's maximum transparency.